Hi, um, I'm Marwan Crady. I'm the director of the Center for Advanced Research and Global Communication, and this is episode three of CARB Books. My guest today is Maria Repnikova. Maria was a postdoc at CARB for two years, between 2014 and 2016, and is now an assistant professor at Georgia State University. Her new book, Media Politics in China, Improvising Power Under Authoritarianism just came out from Cambridge University Press. Hi, Maria. Hi, Marwan. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Um, so what led you to write this book? So I've always been interested in journalism practices in political repressive contexts, how some individuals can survive under a lot of political pressure, how do they maneuver the webs of restrictions, and um, what allows for such practices to happen in the first place. So China, to me, was a, a key example of this kind of uh, sort of puzzle. It's one of the most repressive regimes when it comes to press freedoms, at the same time, it's a very dynamic um, space uh, for creativity. So I wanted to explore how the dynamism plays out within the boundaries of constraints. Okay. And could you tell us what the main claims um, of the books are the so that you make? The main claim of the book is that uh, one way to look at the relationship between critical journalists and the party state is as that of a fluid partnership. So rather than thinking about it in terms of dichotomy of resistance and control, we can see them as sort of working together, fused together um, in terms of working towards shared objectives of improving governance, improving certain policies, and at the same time, negotiating the relationship through acts of constant improvisation, which I call guard improvisation in the book. So it's the creativity that undermines, uh, in some ways, um, the kind of larger overhaul of this media system, but at the same time, it keeps them together. So the way that they maneuver it's, uh, through various webs of disagreements is through creative acts that I discuss in the book. Okay, and what do you think, what would you say um, is the main contribution of the book to global communication as a field? So I think the main contribution of the book is to think about certain convergences and also hybridity when it comes to the media oversight role of Washington journalism across political context. So on the one hand, just situating this um, practice of investigative reporting in China, just finding it and analyzing it d demonstrates that some of our categories perhaps are wrong when we think about this comparison between repressive and non-repressive systems. We can find a very radical practice also happening in a politically constrained environment. And in fact, some challenges that journalists face are also similar to the ones journalists experience in the U.S. and other liberal democracies. Uh, for instance, the pressure for relationships with officials, self-censorship and so forth, and the same kind of pressures that many Chinese reporters have to deal with on a daily basis. At the same time, it also highlights some unique features of uh, critical reporting when it comes to China, including the constructive relationship uh, between journalists and the state, and the very informal ways, the informal practices that essentially um, characterize their relationships. So instead of legal practices, instead of law, instead of institutions, they tend to be very informal and improvised. Excellent. And Maria, could you tell us what you're working on now? What's next for you? So my next project is actually borrowing from some of your work, uh, thinking about theories of translocalism and applying it to a project that looks at China's image construction and diffusion of authoritarian models to other non-democratic states. In particular, looking at Ethiopia, Russia, and Kazakhstan as the three case studies to examine you know, how these various countries with a shared characteristic of a liberal political system, the different cultural practices, the different historical contexts, how they experience China's image and how they negotiate it. Um, amongst different communities within those countries. Okay. Um, thank you again, Maria. The book is Media Politics in China, Improvising Power Under Authoritarianism. This was written at CARG. It's the very first book uh, to come out out of a CARG postdoctoral fellowship. Uh, we're very happy that uh, Maria came back and gave a book talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>